Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of our complete Laravel e-commerce website series. Now we are at seller dashboard and in our previous video we finished up working on our store and uh, I told you to do like uh, edit and delete option by yourself because it's all same uh, which we did in our previous things like in uh, category and subcategory. Now today we will start working on our product and on create product. So before we start working on create product this is the very first time where we will need liveware component okay so so let's install liveware inside of our project so that we will easily able to create liveware component and use that inside of our project as well so where we will need liveware component in this create product you know guys uh, for creating a product we need to select category and then subcategory of the product right and uh, when we are going to use liveware it's going to be very simple for us uh, as soon as we select a category it will load all the subcategory for us based on that category so uh, this is the place where we will use liveware for this section so for making dependent drop down actually so let's do that part so very fast let's uh, install liveware inside of our project so to install liveware just go to liveware.laravel.com then go to documentation okay and after going to documentation go to installation and after going to installation just copy the first uh, command and then come back to your project and yes just uh, clear the terminal and here i'm going to type few things so let's make it okay composer require uh, library slash library so i'm just going to click on enter and it will take just few seconds to install library inside of our project all right so our library installed successfully next we have to run the next command which is publishing the configuration file so just copy this line of code again and then go back to the project paste it like that and yeah publishing is done next work is uh, we need to manually include liveware frontend asset to our project so this is right now inside of our seller dashboard right and we want to use liveware inside of our seller dashboard so we have to open the seller dashboard layout file and then there i will include our liveware uh, style and uh, js file manually so let's do it so in order to do so in the seller folder we have layouts folder and the inside of that we have layout.play.php file and here what i'm going to do is in the head section okay in the head section just before the closing head i'm going to include uh, this line of code which is at the rate live styles okay so just copy this and go back to the site yeah paste it once then next next we have another line of code which is at the rate live script so just copy that one as well and we add the rate and then go just below and before the closing body tag paste it okay all right so now everything is included successfully inside of our live wire and yeah in every element we will easily able to use that okay and if it give any error later we will check these things as well okay now let's create our very fast component in liveware for our project okay so if i go to component section inside of our liveware there you can see to create a component in liveware you need to type php addition then make colon liveware and then the component name you need to use naming like this or uh, this okay otherwise it will give error remember that okay i'm going to follow this type of naming so yeah let's create our very fast library component for our project so it's going to be php artisan then make colon liveware okay l-i-v-w-i-r-e and then our component name going to be category subcategory okay just 
pressing enter and you can see our component created successfully this create two file one is class file and another is view file and class file is inside f liveware category subcategory.php and view file is inside uh live view liveware category subcategory dot blade dot psp file so let's open our um, view file first yeah this is the view file and let's type here like p our category sub category um, liveware component okay now i want to use the add inside of our that file which one in seller in product we have created ready to pc file and here i want to use that component so simply i'm just going to type liveware there's so many different way you can include a component inside of your project or inside of your page one of them is just typing here the view name category sub sorry sub category simple library colon then category sub category and it's going to be easily implemented inside of this place let's see you can see our sub category our category sub category library component is showing here which i just write inside of our category subcategory dot blade dot psp file in the liveware folder right okay now you understand i think the how to install liveware and how to create your fast component and also how to include that inside of your page now the next work is very simple creating our dependent drop down for uh, product okay okay so i want to create a system like whenever we select category for selecting that category live will automatically load all the subcategory belongs to that category okay simple so let's 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 do it in order to do so i'm just going to open this file which is inside of our app f liveware category subcategory dot php okay then here i need to create few variable one is public categories c a t g o r i e s and it's going to be by default a empty array then another i want to create is public selected then category c a t e g o r y naming should be like this so this is categories and singular form of that categories is category so we type here category and then selected you need to include so that means whenever we select any category it will automatically catch that category here and it's going to be just a variable nothing uh, like a null or a empty array then i'm going to create here another variable which is public then sub categories sub c a t e g o r i e s and it's also going to be a empty array okay fine next let's create here public function mount and inside of that i want to load all of our categories and then inject them inside of this array how to do that just use simple method which is this then categories then equal to we need to use our category model then all right so it will fetch out all the categories and inject that inside of our categories okay now in the library view file we will easily able to access these categories whenever you just create this variable those are already accessible inside of our render view file okay nothing need to include like compact or something else okay so i'm just going to open our category subcategory dot bit pc file and let me show you all this thing okay okay let's type here like select right uh, we don't need any name or id here simply select give it a class of from control which is a bootstrap class okay and then with inside of that is option 
and by default value going to be null and here I'm just going to type here like select a category okay and then I'm going to run a for each loop here and here the variable name going to be which one here this one categories okay categories so categories as category now I want to create another option value going to be category ID C A T E G O R Y ID and then here I want to display the category name right so it's going to be category then uh, let me see what it is inside of our category <clears throat> this is our category table in our database and here you can see category name inside category name field so we need to give that here as well okay fine now if everything okay i should be able to see all the category in my v5 right here so let's see either it show us or not you can see select a category and when i click on that it's showing all of the category which i already have available in my project okay now i want to create another option which is select subcategory and whenever i anyone select a category based on that category all the subcategory are going to be displayed there and when there's no category selected it will display nothing okay so let's do it for doing so i'm just going to simply copy the select uh, which we created for category and paste it here and type here select a subcategory okay and here in here i need to i need to simply pass OR colon model and then dot live equal to what selected a c l a c t e d selected this one and uh, this one is this one we need to pass this variable here that means whenever any change happen and any category gets selected who is that going to be simply passed here okay that going to be simply passed into the selected category so using that we will easily able to load the subcategories here let me show you that also very simple i'm just going to use here blade templating and show you how it can actually work if i pass here selected category let me show you what it does okay just refresh the page and select electronics and you can see electronics um, category id already displaying here that means whenever we pass here wire model dot live then equal to selected category that means uh, whenever we select a category uh, it directly get injected here in the selected categories and what get injected injected which is category id and now using that category id we will fetch out all the subcategory uh, belongs to that category okay now yeah let's do it we going to a category subcategory dot psp file again and here need to create another function which is public function and we need to use here the naming like updated updated okay then selected category remember name need to be like this nothing else name need to be like this first we need to type updated this is a keyword updated means whenever our selected category get updated uh what going to be the value okay so updated selected updated first then uh, the name we see first here okay simple updated then selected category camel case type okay and here we need to catch what category c a t g o r y then id okay category id fine then next what i'm going to do i'm going to simply use this then uh, subcategories okay then i'm going to inject all the subcategory which belongs to this category id how i'm going to type subcategory uh, and this will use here our model subcategory and i'm going to use colon colon higher category CT is your category ID 
is equal to our this category id that means which category is selected we want to get all of that category simple now now what now simply go to our category subcategory PSP file and type here for is sub categories as sub category and value sub category id and sub category sub category name right and let's see if everything okay then we will be able to see all the sub category belongs to that category refresh this space and you can see select a category select a sub category and right now sub category is empty but we can select a category from here we just select electronics and possibly all the uh, yes all the sub category who is inside of that electronics is already showing you can see that right so this is how this uh, thing actually work uh, you can see when it's selected category nothing displaying when i select sports and outdoor all the sub category of the sports and outdoor is showing and then when i select beauty and personal care it's uh, also uh, showing all the sub category of that beauty and personal care category section how it working actually let me show you inside of this it actually sending ajax request when i go to network and yeah uh, let me show you i select here what i select a home and furniture it send a, a request inside using uh, this you can see liveware.js and it sending a request fetching out the data everything you can see here right i select beauty and personal care you can see again another request is say, sending then i select esports and outdoor another request is sending simple yeah, so inside of this it actually working using ajax so we don't need to worry about that what it doing all right my friends so that's all for today's video and uh, another thing i want to mention here the naming here is very very important you need to name it like exactly what i type here you can change this variable to anything else like you can also type here like category then uh, then id something like that and it will uh, still work let me show you it will still work i just go to the website refresh i select electronics and it's already loading electronics but if you change this to update it to something else like new selected category then it will not actually work let me show you you can see it's not working so here naming is very very important remember to use the same uh, cases here and same way of naming as well so yeah that's all for today's video in our next video we will complete the next part of this from then also we will get another library component which is for uh, adding the product image and displaying them live using temporary variable in library uh, yeah so many things going to be happen so this is just the beginning of using library instead of our component or instead of our project yeah i hope you're going to enjoy it a lot so this is the very fast step thank you so much for watching take care i will see you in the next video bye bye